Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Gaming on Caffeine. My name is Isaac, and we are back playing some Feed the Beast Resurrection for episode two. And boom, look at this. I built a house. Now, uh, usually it takes me like flipping 30 episodes to build a house, and people always complain that I never actually have a proper base. So I've gone ahead and built a house episode one this time around. And I spent quite a bit of time since last episode actually playing around with this pack. And so far, I'm actually really liking it. And I'll show you why in, in just a second. But here's the house. We got uh, some cobblestone, some dark oak wood, uh, some oak wood, which is actually surprisingly hard to find. There's like a whole forest over there, which is all dark wood. And behind that is like a massive birch forest. So I had to go quite far to try and find this, uh, this oak wood. But I found some. And, and then we've got these little corridors along the back here. And basically what these are is this, this little room that we've got here is not really going to be big enough for all the stuff that we have planned for this pack. So hopefully what I'm going to do eventually is, is go ahead and extend with some little corridors uh, over here and build some extra rooms, kind of expand the base, and, and hopefully have a pretty cool house by the end of it. Um, because usually I kind of try and cram everything into one room, but I don't want to do that. And I kind of want to get this roof right, which is why I've kind of uh, built these little prototype corridors right now. But uh, that's what we're going to do today. We're not going to do that. We're going to get into some cool stuff. We're going to get into some machines from Greg Tech. We're going to start with some high-powered stuff. Now, uh, I've done quite a bit of mining since the end of last episode. We have a bed now, which is nice. I've slept in this bed. And we have four chests. We have a chest, which is full of the tools I was using to build the house. We have a chest full of ores, which we'll get to in just a second. We have a chest full of random junk that was left in my inventory. And a chest full of food-type stuffs, which we should probably cook up because we're not doing great on food right now. So uh, let's have a look. Uh, over here... Now, one of the first things that I really like about Greg Tech is that everything can be mined with a cobblestone pickaxe. Everything. I have six diamond ore here that was mined with a cobblestone pickaxe. That, to me, is flipping amazing. And we can just smelt these into diamonds, which is kind of awesome. So, at first, I was kind of skeptical about how the ore system was going to work in this pack. And I had a feeling it was going to be, like, really uh, really empty and bland down there. And for, for the most part, it is a little bit... But there's some pretty cool, like, massive, I think they're called mother loads of ores, which are just insane. So, what I'm going to do, actually, real quick, is I'm going to start smelting up some iron, because I believe we do need some of this iron for uh, for this episode. So, let's go ahead and throw, like, you in there. And, actually, I'm just going to throw, like, all of this in here, because we're going to need a bunch of iron this episode. Let me just check that that does, in fact, give us iron ore, iron ingots, even. It does. Nice. So, I'll leave that going in there for now. And I'm going to show you some of the, uh, the little, like, uh, veins of ores that I found uh, down in the mine here. And, actually, before we go, we might as well get pickaxe and uh, and grab some of the stuff whilst we're down there now uh, we could actually yeah we'll, we'll grab another uh, cobblestone pickaxe we might as well uh, they're super cheap we have a bunch of, of cobblestone and it can mine everything i have yet to come across anything down in the mines that this cobblestone pick cannot mine which is which is kind of insane so uh, at first glance like you probably saw last episode we had quite a bit of this stuff here this uh light night all which i haven't really found a use for yet so we we have quite a bit of it but i haven't really found much of a use and as we go down there's not a whole lot of stuff here you can see it's kind of empty kind of bland and i was like i was getting kind of disheartened about the whole mining system but then i got here and I found some redstone, and I was like, okay, there's quite a bit of redstone here, that's nice. And oh my gosh, look at this, there is a ton of redstone. And then we go even further down through the waterfall, and boom, look at this, look at this. There is so much redstone here, it's not even funny, look, look at it, look at it. Oh my god, creepers, okay. And then I kind of went around the corner, I was like, okay, okay, we've got a lot of redstone. And then we came across this stuff, this pyrite, which can be used to make iron, which is nice, we can smell that straight up into iron. And then I think I came down here, and boom, look at this. This one, uh, we came across another mother load, which was full of more pyrite. So this is all iron. We can get all iron from this. We also came across copper, which is quite nice. There's a bunch of copper around here. Iron ore by itself is kind of hard to see. Look, this is iron ore. So it kind of blends in nicely with the walls, which is not the best, but uh, we can live with it. And then we've got this stuff here, this uh, cat clack. This ore, which is at the top there, which actually is copper. Uh, if we go ahead and have a look, uh, press U again, we can smell this straight up into copper. So we were doing pretty well. I, uh, I spent a couple of hours actually uh, going around mining a bunch of this stuff. Uh, like I mined over half of this. There's still like a bunch of it left. Uh, I had to go away and get a couple of new pickaxes a few times over. So there is a bunch of stuff down here. And then I went around a bit more and there is like, a, there's just stuff all over the place. It's insane. You don't find a lot of, of all sort of like scattered around. But when you do find the odds, they're all sort of nice and clumped together. And there is a bunch of them, which is really nice. So let me just head back through here because I don't want to die to those creepers. And let's head back. So I did this little strip mine and I got down to here. Uh, I think it's also like a little... Oh, actually, I didn't show you. There's like a little uh, pool of lava just across from here that I haven't really mined out just yet. 
I don't think they can get to us because of the water, which is nice. Uh, and I did a little bridge. I was going to go try and cross it and get to some stuff. But uh, I got kind of scared. I was carrying a lot of stuff at the time. But uh, if you have a look, sort of, this, the more diamonds over there. And I mean, look at this. Look at that. There were just massive little clusters of ores, which is really nice. We'll go back and get those uh, diamonds at some other time. But for now, what I want to do is I want to head back up to, uh, to the base and start to figure out a way to, uh, to double all of our ores. Because that's really where we want to start with uh, early game. And I think I have figured out how we can, how we can do this with, with Greg Tech. So, uh, let's head on back up here. Now, uh, just a quick heads up, by the way, to anyone who else who is playing this pack. Uh, tin can only be found, uh, I think it's like above level 50. So, you have to go pretty high up to find some tin. I was getting pretty scared. I was down here uh, mining for a bunch of, uh, mining for quite a while. And I couldn't find any. And eventually, I had to go ahead and sort of start digging. Uh, I started strip mining quite high up. I think I've got one here. Yeah, I was looking for tin uh, along here. And eventually, I found some. Let's try not to die in the darkness. I eventually, I found some over this way. I, I basically found this little cave system, which isn't really a cave system at all. It's just like a little bit of uh, of a, a mine, I guess. And I started strip mining. And as per usual, look at this. Boom. There was just tin here, tin here, tin all over the place. It was like a, a nice little cluster of tin all over the place, which is really nice. So... Uh, I did a bit of research on, on Greg Tech itself because I haven't, like I said last episode, haven't really played with Greg Tech all that much. And I found out that uh, what we're usually supposed to start with uh, is called the Bronze Age. We're supposed to start with the Bronze Age of Machines, which is, of course, all made from bronze. That's why I kind of got all hooked up with the, the tin thing. I really needed to find some tin. And if we had an inside and sort of locked the door so the zombies can't eat our brains and maybe we can sleep? Yes, we can. Good. Okay. So, yeah, we're usually supposed to start with the Bronze Age. And if we have a look uh, in the uh, NEI over here and type in Macerator, like we did last episode, you'll see there is a Steam Macerator. This is part of the Bronze Age. So the Bronze Age is basically just you make your machines out of bronze. So you can make a Steam Macerator out of bronze, a uh, Steam Extractor, a uh, Steam Boiler to make the steam, and you can, make, you can make it all out of bronze. Now, I did a bit of testing in a single-player world to try and see if this was any good, and it worked, but... It required a lot of bronze. And if we have a look, uh, in order to get bronze plates, which is what we need, we need two bronze and hammer. And in order to get the two bronze, we need to combine three copper and one tin to get one bronze. One! So we would have had to have, like, I think over a hundred and some copper in order for this to work. Now, granted, we do have a lot of copper. We have, uh, I think this can be turned into copper. No, this is iron. Okay. We have uh, 15 over there. We have a bunch of the uh, uh, clack. That, that one, copyright. I'm going to call it copyright. Uh, if you miss out the C-H-A-L, it says copyright. The copyright R, we have a lot of that stuff uh, over here. So we can make quite a, bit, uh, quite a bit out of that. But it would have required a lot of copper to make all that bronze. And then I thought about it and I looked further on. Because the next stage, after the bronze age, is the, the steel. The, I'm going to call it the steel age. I don't know if it's actually called that. But it's basically making stuff out of steel and making the high pressure machines. So this one here is the high pressure macerator, which is exactly the same recipe, apart from instead of bronze, you use steel. And because we have railcraft installed, steel is super easy to get. So in order to make these steel plates, we need two steel and a hammer, the same as it was with bronze. But in order to make steel, all we have to do is smell iron. Which is kind of nice. So, for every one of these, all we have to do is go ahead and put this back into the furnace. And that's going to go ahead and smell up again and get us some steel, which is quite cool. So, we can just go ahead and make a bunch of those really easily and get ourselves this thing pretty quickly. So, pistons, fairly easy to get. We just need some wood, some cobblestone, and some redstone. Now, redstone is a bit of a, a misnomer, actually. I'm not quite sure how we're going to go about getting the redstone because... Um, as of right now, let's have a look. We can use this redstone. Uh, let's have a look. You, we could use a lacerator. We don't have a lacerator, so that's not really an option. Macerator, we don't have yet. Pulverizer, we don't have yet. Hammer, we could hammer it up, I guess, uh, if we had one. And that's kind of like it. So <laughs> I'm not quite sure how we're going to do this. Let's have a look. We can use that. We can go ahead and, and craft those up to get an impure pile of redstone. They can then be put into a centrifuge, but we don't really have a centrifuge either. So... Hmm, let me have a look. So, there's another, there's another, like, item called a mortar, which can be used to crush stuff down. I wonder if we can use this to break up redstone. You can use it to make coal dust, blaze rods. It kind of acts like a, a sort of, almost like a macerator, but in your hand uh, kind of thing. So, let's have a look. Is redstone listed on here? It is not, which is not good. Let's have a, let's have a look here. Redstone. What can we use to make redstone? We can, oh, no. Yeah, okay, that's redstone. Oh, that's normal redstone. Oh, not the... Oh, one second. Let, 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 me, let me test this. Let me... Hmm. Ooh. 
Oh, one second. Yeah, okay. I know why that's happening. Let's go ahead and smelt this up and let's see what happens with this. Does that get us just redstone? Straight, straight. Oh, that's not even the right stuff. Straight redstone, please. Maybe. Possibly. No. Ah, sad face. Sad face. Okay. So, okay. So, a little while later, and geez, did that take me a while to figure out. But I have figured out that we kind of jumped the gun a little bit when it came to Greg Tech. There is no fooling Greg Tech. There is no skipping stages. We will do the Bronze Age. So, uh, I, I had a quick look, and uh, it turns out at first I derped a little bit when it came to making the steel. Uh, we, in fact, need a blast furnace in order to do that instead of just a normal furnace. And a blast furnace requires us to go to the, ne the nether and get sand uh, soul sand and magma creams and all sorts of stuff. So we're not doing that just yet. <laughs> we're going to we're gonna go with the bronze edge for now. And in terms of redstone, you may or may not see that I have some of this stuff here. Some impure piles of redstone dust. So... How did I get those? Well, the first thing you have to do, which is something you cannot figure out from any eye, or, or really anything, really, is you have to put down the redstone, and you have to use a hammer. Now, the hammer can be made a multiple of different ways, uh, with a multiple of different materials. Uh, basically, it's a stick and then six materials. You could have used uh, some form of gem, any form of ingots, really, even some of the shards from Thorncraft, glue, diamonds, anything at all. I used iron, so I have this hammer. And basically, if you break things with the hammer, like this, you can see that it kind of does the job uh, of a macerator almost for you. I don't think it does the doubling. So, uh, let me try. I haven't actually tried this with a different ore. Let me try it really quick with something like iron ore. If I broke that, it does turn it down, but you can see it didn't double it. We only got the one. And you'll notice if we were to macerate some redstone, I think we get 10. Yeah, we get 10 crushed redstone instead of the five that we got from using the hammer. So, now that we have the crushed redstone ore, what can we do with that? Well, Good question. We can use the hammer again. We can take that hammer, we can put the redstone here, and then we can do this. Now, be careful, that does use up a lot of the, the hammer's durability, but we can get ourselves some redstone like that. Now, here comes the next problem. Now that we have this, what can we do with that? Well, if you happen to have a centrifuge nearby, which, hint, hint, we don't, we could go ahead and put it in there and get some redstone. That's it. So, again, here's another stage that isn't really well specified, but it is another thing we can do. And before I show you that, I'm going to go ahead and sleep real quick, because I do not wish to die to mobs, and we are going to have to go outside in just a second. But what we need now is a cauldron. Now, I don't think I've actually ever made a cauldron for any use ever. So, I mean, props to Greg Tech for making me use one. But uh, basically, we have to make this guy, throw him down, get a bucket like this, go get some water to fill up our cauldron. Which is fairly easy because we're by this very nice little river. Which also makes getting sand gravel and clay a lot easier as well. Look at that skeleton just taking a nice little bath. Bobbing up and down. Oh gosh. And where did the witch come from? I, I don't even know. Anyway, anyway, let's, let's hide. Basically, what we do now is we can go ahead and put the water in here. And we can drop these in. And look at that. We get redstone. So, <laughs> there you go, guys. That, that That's how you get redstone. It's a bit wacky, but that's how it works. Okay, so now we have that. We need to go ahead and make a butt ton of, of stuff to get some bronze. So, let's go ahead and cook some of that up. Actually, before I do that, let's cook up some of the tin. Because I think that's going to be a bit more beneficial to start with. So, I'll throw that in there. Get ourselves some tin. And we'll head on back over to the macerator. So... In order to get this guy, the steam macerator, we're going to need two diamonds, which we've got, we're going to, uh, which we can get by smelting our diamond ore. We're going to need two pistons, which we can now get. Do we have uh, the exact stuff to make it? Uh, we're going to need some wood. We can take you. We've got the cobblestone. We've got the redstone. We've got the iron. Yep, I think we are good to go. Let's take this. Boom. Let's get rid of you. And then let's do something like this. Boom. 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 And boom. Gets us two pistons. Nice. So we'll take those. We'll get rid of this stuff again. And after that, I think all we need is some small bronze piping, which again requires a hammer. I think we can use the hammer we've got. Uh, and then we need a wrench. Now the wrench, uh, we can use a couple of wrenches. I'm going to use this one here because it's really cheap. And to make this, you need a hammer and again, a bunch of ingots. I'm going to use iron again. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll use iron again like that. And boom. We got a wrench. So we now have a wrench and a hammer. Cool. So we can take some of this stuff over here. Drop some, that's not cobblestone, drop some cobblestone on the floor and do something like this. Boom and boom to get ourselves some bronze. So now we have bronze. So now what do we do next? We need to get uh, this guy here, a bronze hole, which is made using eight bronze plates and a hammer. And each one of these bronze plates requires two bronze. So what I probably have to do now, guys, is cut away again, sit around here and make an absolute butt ton of a bronze. And so is there not a better way to make bronze? There must be. 
there must be like a cheaper way to make it than doing this. We can use some machines if we wanted to, but we don't really have the uh, the technology to make stuff using machines just yet. And other than that, there's really no other recipe. Uh, if we had a crate of bronze, we could just turn it back into bronze. But yeah, it doesn't really look like there's much we can do right now. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to cut away. I'm going to sit here for like ever, get myself a, a bunch of a bunch of tin, a bunch of copper, until we have enough bronze to go ahead and make ourselves the steam macerator, as well as this guy over here, if I'm in boiler, as well as this guy, the steam, the small coal boiler, which we can use to turn the um, to turn water and coal into steam to power the steam macerator. So yeah, I'm going to do that, guys, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so again, after much time and effort spent trying to figure some of this stuff out i have come up with a slightly better way of uh, making bronze which requires a little well it uses a little less copper and gets us a lot more bronze per piece of copper which is pretty cool so the way that we're going to do it is we're going to take all of this iron we're going to smelt up all of this sand and we're going to use a little bit more of our good old friend the cauldron so uh, let's throw some stuff of that in there so that can work and basically the way we're going to do this now is I went back down into the mine. I got myself a bunch more of this uh, copyright ore, which uh, contains a copper, and I also used the hammer to get myself a bunch of this stuff over here, the crushed copper ore. So what we could do now is we can use this crushed copper ore, like so. We can turn it into impure copper dust. We're gonna get three of these, and then we're gonna do the same thing for the tin. So we're gonna use the hammer on the tin here, like so. And I'm hoping this has enough uh, like durability left. I hope it does to get a, uh, a crushed tin ore, which we can then go ahead and use to get an impure pile of crushed tin ore. And then what we can do with both of these is we can head on over to the cauldron once we get some water in there, which uh, I'm going to go do right about now. And once we throw all of those in, we're going to get ourselves uh, some pure copper dust and some pure tin dust. So that way we've used three copper and one tin to get ourselves all of that dust. So something like this. We can go one, two, three. Come on. Three. Ah, oh, flipping jab. Yeah, we're always running out of water, which is something we are going to fix in just a second as well. But one more trip. One more trip. Here we go. Let's take you. And, and then what we're going to do is once we turn all of the... Actually, we have... Oh, did we get extra copper dust? We might have done because we have some. Uh, but basically what I'm going to do is we're going to do this and this. And that gets us three bronze dust, which we can then individually smelt up into bronze or uh, into bronze ingots. So for that, every single piece of copper turned into a bronze, as opposed to three pieces of copper turning into one bronze, which was a bit, which was like worlds less efficient. So that's what we have to do now. However, the next problem that occurs is the fact that the crucible requires a ton of water, uh, sorry, the cauldron even, requires a ton of water in order to do that over and over and over again. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this guy over here, the aqueous accumulator from thermal expansion, which is in fact fairly easy to make. So we need, first of all, a uh, tin gear, which is just some tin and some iron. And for that, we're going to need one more piece of tin, which we can go ahead and smelt up real quick. Do we have something we can burn? We do. We have some fences. Uh, we should really get some more coal. Coal is something that I really haven't found a lot of down in the mines. We ha have none. So um, we should probably find some of that. Or we could probably set up... Uh, I might, uh, yeah, I think I might set up a tree farm as well fairly soon because I think that's going to be something that we're probably definitely going to need. So let's go ahead and make a tin gear like so. Boom. We can then use that to make ourselves a machine frame like so. I think we have everything there, don't we? One, two, three, four. Tinger in the middle and glass like so. Gets the machine frame. Yep, we do. And then we need some copper gears, which are pretty much just copper like so. One, two of those. And then we can go ahead and craft all those together with a pneumatic server, which requires a little bit uh, more iron. Ah, oh, tiny bit more iron. Here we go. Uh, two more iron should do the job. And, and then I think we should be good to go. We have that redstone. We have everything else. I think we're pretty much good. And basically, what we're going to do with this is we're going to get rid of these three uh, wooden panels underneath here for now. Uh, eventually, I, I don't think I'm going to have all of my machines in this little house because, uh, like I said before, this house is pretty small. It doesn't have a whole lot of space. And what I might do, maybe between this episode and next, maybe in just in the future, is build another another little house somewhere like else that we can start putting our machines in. And I'll probably put the Crucible in there as well because I don't think I'm a huge fan of, of this, just like water being here. But uh, hey, it works for now. Uh, oh, we're flipping. Ah, we need more fuel. Here we go. Sticks. 
The sticks are like terrible, but they should hopefully last. While they're cooking up, let's go ahead and grab uh, the second piece of what we need to get an unlimited water source. Let's grab you. Uh, so for those who don't know, the Aquas Accumulator, basically what it does is if you put it next to two water sources, it acts as an unlimited water source, and you can have it output unlimited amounts of water, which is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to break this. We're going to throw it down directly underneath the Crucible. Uh, the cauldron. I'm going to keep calling it a crucible because I like never, I've never, I never used the cauldron. But uh, here we go. Boom, boom, and boom. Gets us a server. And then we can go ahead and do something like this to get ourselves the accuracy accumulator and then throw that down right about there. And I'm hoping, hoping, really hoping. Really? Really? You're not going to work? You're not going to work? Come on. Ah, okay, we may need we may need a pipe to go in between those. So let's have a look. Uh, in order to do that, we probably need a fluid transfer node if we want to do that. And that requires uh, quite a bit of redstone, some lapis, some more iron. We could probably do it, though. Looking at this, transfer pipes are actually fairly easy to get. They are um, they're just stone, redstone, and glass. So what I'm going to do, guys, again, I'm going to cut away. I'm going to try and get all the stuff we need to make this fluid transfer node. And I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I think we actually have everything we need now in order to make this. So, a uh, blocker of... Ooh, please tell me we can craft this. Please tell me we can craft this. Really? Really? Okay, so a little while later, and now I think we have pretty much everything we need now in order to make the macerator and the small steam boiler. So, uh, originally we planned to go ahead and, and, and use the accuracy accumulator on the cauldron to, uh, to provide it constantly with water. However... That didn't work. So we then moved on and tried to create a uh, fluid transfer node from extra utilities to do that as well. However, you cannot make a, a redstone block using just nine redstone anymore. You, in fact, need some machines like a compressor to compress it up. So we can't do that just yet. But what we can do is cook some of this stuff up to get us bricks. And we can go ahead and make all the stuff we need to get a macerator. So... Uh, the first thing we're going to need is a boiler to, to power the macerator, but the boiler requires bricks. So we'll wait a second while that clay cups up, cooks up. So, macerator. In order to make this thing, we need some small bronze fluid pipes, two diamonds, two pistons, and a bronze hole. The bronze hole, we can do. Look at this. Boom. Like so. Hammer in the middle. Done. We have a bronze hole. Nice. Then we need this guy around the small bronze fluid pipes, which require a hammer, a wrench, and six of these bronze, pl bronze plates. And we look at that. We have six here. Hammer, wrench, boom, done. Nice. And then we can do this. One, two, three, four, five. We can throw the pistons in. And then we just need some diamonds, which are not yet ready. So let's grab two of those. Throw these into one of our furnaces. I made a bunch of furnaces, by the way, so that we could smell some stuff up faster. This was at the time when I thought we were going to have to smell up a ton of copper and tin in order to get all of our bronze. Uh, fortunately, we don't. However, we have nine bronze ingots at the moment, and we do need ten. So we are going to have to do one more of these uh, inefficient trades. But again, that's fine. We can go ahead and do this. Take you. That should be done in any second. You are both done. We can take you. We can go ahead and make you. Ah, it doesn't like us auto-crafting. I'm not quite sure why. But we can do that, that, boom, boom, and boom. Ta-da! A macerator. Nice. Flipping heck, that took a while. All right, let's take you. Let's do this. Boom. Take you two. Then let's go ahead and get ourselves a boiler. That being this guy over here. And for that, we're going to need a furnace. Again, not too hard. We've got all the stuff we need to, uh, to make a furnace. That shouldn't be too bad. Thank you very much. Something like this. Boom. Can we shift click? Boom. No, of course we can't. That's probably because we don't have all the stuff. But boom. And then boom. 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 Nice. So we now have the small coal boiler and the steam macerator. So the way that this guy works is we're going to get rid of this. And I'm going to give it a test here. So let me try this. If I put the accuracy accumulator back down and I was to put the small boiler on top of it. Now, I want it to be facing this way, if possible. So, let's try, like, jump, shift, click. There we go. Uh, I think that worked. Is that going to... Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to place that macerator down either. To be fair, I don't... Mm, that might work. I'm not sure. This does work, though, which is brilliant. Okay. That works, and that is fantastic. So, let's get some wood. I'm hoping we can use wood. Although, I haven't tested it. We may have to use coal. Which would not be fun. However, charcoal might work. So we might have to go get some charcoal. 
Okay, so charcoal does work good. So, what we can do is we can throw charcoal into here. And then what that should do is that should, once it gets, once this red bar gets high enough, start to power this steam macerator. I'm not quite sure why this has got a really nice texture and uh, this one hasn't. But what we can do is we can go ahead and take something like our crushed iron ore, uh, or maybe some of our copper ore, throw it in here. And once we get to high enough power, this should start to double it. We should get two of the crushed copper ore from this macerator that we can then either use to uh, do what we did before, throw it into a uh, cauldron, get out some uh, pure, uh, use the hammer on it, sorry, get some impure dust, throw it in the cauldron to get some pure dust, and then use it to either make bronze or copper that way. Uh, or I think we can pulverize it again to get impure dust. I'm not too sure, but we should any second now start to see some... Uh, some steam be produced and we should start to see the macerator start working so uh, as you can see it's a bit slow uh, this is one of the main reasons why i kind of wanted to jump to the next era because the high pressure versions are a little bit faster but it looks like this might have to work for now come on please please you're gonna start for me should work oh 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 you have to make sure that the back of the machine using the steam has space at the back for an output. This side has to be visible. Otherwise, I think bad things can happen. So make sure that the, the little block there um, can be, can be like, exported easily. And as you can see, it's working. It's doing pretty well. Uh, it's going to go ahead and double some of this stuff. Again, pretty slow. It's not very fast at all. But... The good news is we do have a macerator now, which means A, redstone is going to be a lot easier to get. We can get 10 redstone per ore now instead of just 5, which is pretty cool. So, let's have a look. Are we going to get our doubled? Please? <laughs> pretty please? Hey, look at that. We've got two pushed top ore. Oh, nice. Uh, they, they don't make the nicest of sounds. I'm not going to lie. They're pretty pretty horrible to listen to, actually. I'm going to turn sound down. Jeez. Uh, but yeah, we have ourselves a steam macerator. So, what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to end the episode there. Next episode, we'll come back, we'll make ourselves a couple more stuff, and we're going to try and automate the production of our ores using things like the steam macerator and a steam furnace from the Bronze Age. Eventually, we'll move up to the next stage, and we might play with some other mods as well in between. Hopefully, we might even get a compressor so that we can try and get another Aquis accumulator going, or maybe even the same one, because you can have multiple outputs on it. Uh, maybe have another the same sort of thing going uh, and maybe get ourselves a cauldron up and running that can actually use unlimited water who knows but yeah thanks for watching guys if you did enjoy the video sure to like and i will see you guys next time for some more feed the beast resurrection bye